Hey everyone, welcome back to our Bible study tools. I'm Mark. I'm Scott. And we're diving into the world of 21st century technology, Scott. Yes, we are. We're going to look at Logos, an amazing web-based resource. Yes, yes. So we have talked about a great deal about the different methods there are to study, some different tools that we have available to us. You've seen us with books in our hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we want to show you is a resource that that takes all of that and puts it into your computer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing resource. We're going to show you a demonstration with our computer so you can get a sneak peek of what Logos Bible software is all about. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is an actual program that you would buy, purchase from Logos, um, and I believe it's logos.com. We'll show you that later. Uh, and you would download this program to your to your machine, to your laptop or your computer, or they've even got uh, an uh, app, an yeah. app yeah. a mobile app, yeah. that you would download onto that, that machine. Once you have it, then you would open it up and, um, well, let me just show it to you, mm -hmm. okay? Let's go for it. All right. So here we are. This is Logos down here in the corner. We open that up, and it brings us to a home screen that's got a number of different resources that are available from Logos, okay? So, which is all great, which is all great. Now, the way Logos works is it takes all sorts of, of uh, these books mm -hmm. and they digitize everything. Exactly. Right? And then when you buy the program, you buy it with books that have been digitized and all of those books uh, fall into your personal library, mm -hmm. right? So to give you a sense of what that looks like, you see all these books here. Um, I'll just open that. And here is, uh, well, all the different uh, books in the different categories. So for like Bible, right? There's 224 different Bibles inside Logos right now that I can use, wow. uh, that I can look through. Including the originals. So I see Greek manuscripts, Hebrew, Apocrypha, yeah. so all different languages. All kinds here. of languages. So cool. It has uh, atlases mm -hmm. that I can look up. It's got, remember we talked about concordances? Yep. Right, well, here's eight different concordances that you can use. Um, remember we talked about commentaries. Yeah, oh, a whole lot of commentaries. There are a yeah. lot of commentaries here. Yeah. There's 736 commentaries that and I can choose from. And Scott, this is just one version of Logos. You could get yeah. a version with even more resources or less. Yes. And this is kind of the middle middle this, version. This is sort of a middle of the road version of, mm -hmm. of Logos and you can see all these different um, books that have been digitized. Forever. You get these forever. Oh yeah. For as long as you Yeah, you know, I, it's funny you bring that up. I was, a, I was an early adopter of this uh, program so I've been uh, using the program for it might be 15 years now, mm -hmm. maybe longer. And every time I've upgraded along the way through the years, my library has just followed me along the right, way. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So I pay for it, and I pay for the program. These are my resources forever. My resources forever. So cool. Now, the big deal here is that if I want to do a study of something, mm -hmm. I go here... Um, this, what it does is it allows you for different layouts different types of layouts, studying layouts. So if I was doing a Greek word study, there's a layout for that. If I was doing Bible journaling or Bible commentary, this one happens to be a Bible commentary layout. Okay. Okay. Um, if I was doing a Proverbs Explorer, and these are, these are preset layouts, or I can create my own layout um, any which way I want. So, so that's kind of handy. But when I, so for this is the uh, uh, layout for Bible commentary. And as you can see, we've got a passage guide over here. We've got commentaries that I can choose mm -hmm. to open. If I open the Gospel of John, this, this just opened down here. And all of this is linked to the, Bible's, uh, to the Bible passage. I have different Bibles that I have open. Mm -hmm about this passage. So here's the King James Version, for instance. And as, as I move through here, you see things are changing. Uh, along the side here, different information and texts. Everything down here in the commentaries is uh, linked together. Mm -hmm. So as I move through the text, 
you see uh, the commentary is moving as well. Right. So that's kind of slick. That is. Right? Then um, I've got certain Bibles and books that I've saved that, that I, I like to re refer to. Uh, you remember my own Bibles in New King James, mm -hmm. right? So I've got the New King James Version Bible sitting up here. I've got the New International Standard. I've got the English Standard. We talked about that. Uh, the Bible Knowledge Commentary, which is what this is down here. Mm -hmm. um, and these are just books out of my library that I like to refer to uh, on occasion. So the ESV Study Bible and so forth, right? Great. Then uh, they also allow for me to create different documents. They've created some documents. I can create documents. If there's some study that I want to uh, look at a resource and, and build a document with inside the program, I don't have to open up Microsoft Word or a word processor. I can do it all here uh, inside Docs. So I can create a new doc. I've already created some docs in the past. Uh, there was one down here. In Christ, we are God's sons. This gives you a sense of the document that I put together some years ago. Um, so I can create my own. What I do is I'll, I'll do a copy and, and a paste into a, a new document that I'm that I'm creating. So that's kind of fun. And then they've got these guides uh, to help you do, uh, like a theology guide or a Bible word study guide. So depending on the type of exegetical uh, guide, so depending on the type of, of study that you're doing, and we've talked about different types of study. We talked about uh, exegetical studies, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the value of going verse by verse by verse by verse well, this, there's a guide for that, and I, I could do that inside Logos, um, the program. We talked about theological studies. Right. Could do that here, right? I could just click on that, and it would send me to a theology guide. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so all of that's great. There's some other tools here. Um, I'll get rid of this guy here. And there's atlases, there's uh, fact books. There's highlighting. If you wanted to create a sermon, you could, you could have a sermon editor here. There's a notes section. So there's all sorts of different resources. Again, this is a, a, uh, a program that, that has grown. I've seen it go from very simplistic to now very uh, complete, very robust. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's just a whole lot here. And we were just marveling. Remember... Uh, a little while ago, uh, there's there's something in here called a timeline, mm -hmm. and if you haven't seen this thing, it's pretty impressive. Um, pulled it up. Where'd it go? Well, you know what? Let me just let me just type it in. Timeline. Here it is. Here. Watch this. You Where'd it go? I think it went, might have went down. You go down here. Yep. Timeline. Bam. Look at that. So this is a timeline of world history mm -hmm. with uh, Bible with with events inserted and in yeah. famous Christians as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here, AD thirty, Paul converts to Christianity, right? Mm -hmm. Right around the thirty three AD. But then you can go backwards, and you can see other biblical uh, types of things, and and so. Not only biblical things, but also just world events, things that are, right. you know, that were important in, in world events. So, so this is kind of neat. And uh, this is something that the guys down at Logos put together and now make it available to everybody that's got the program. So here, uh, 146 B.C., Rome destroys Carthage. Mm -hmm. So if you ever wanted to know what right. happened in that year, uh, you, could, you could refer to here. So, so anyway, that's kind of neat as well. So, again, we just wanted to highlight this resource. We have been uh, bringing resources uh, to you in these videos, and this is another Bible study resource. Mm -hmm. Do you know of anyone that, do you yourself have this? I do. I have this program. Yeah. Yeah, and it's an excellent resource. Um, I think eventually you're going to have to go to the web-based when you start accumula accumulating so many books and resources. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to have it on your phone, to have an app. Yes. You can download uh, the commentaries or resources offline even. Right. So eventually uh, most people will go to these web-based resources. Well, and, and 
What's neat about this, you know, I've traveled, and I do have, I do have the program, you know, on my mobile phone. Yeah. Um, and in an airport, I'll sit down and yeah. I'll, I'll read one of one of the resources that are, you know, that I have. I'll, yeah. I'll just pull it up in the airport and I'll, I'll read through it. Um, if um, I want to read it while I'm on the airplane, I can download mm -hmm. uh, the resource, the book, mm -hmm. um, and I can read it while I'm on the airplane on the airplane Definitely. in the app so it's it's kind of neat it's kind of neat it is so we encourage you guys as you are accumulating your your library uh, we're both guys who like the hard copy books so we have those yes and we also have the the web based so it's good to have a combination of both in my opinion um, obviously you can check out the pricing for yourself and yeah. where you're at um, but it's a, definitely a worthwhile investment because you'll have it your whole life um, logos is one of several uh, other Bible software programs, yeah. so you can look into that yourself. Right. Um, although we we've used Logos, and we can t attest to the fact that it's a very worthwhile and reliable program. Yeah, I I, I know quite a few people that that use this and and uh, have been very happy with their with their Bible studies Absolutely. using this. So so that's why we we thought we would bring it to you as a as another tool. It's just another tool mm -hmm. in the toolbox. Right. Right. Yes. So we hope that this encourages you to and excites you. Just the the amazing amount of resources and tools that are available to us to understand God's word deeper, so that we can grow in our relationship with God Amen. more and more. Amen. So we hope that this blessed you, and that eventually you'll uh, pick up logos for yourself. Yep. Okay. So uh, next, uh, we're going to talk about web-based resources. Mm -hmm. So uh, stay with us. We're going to look at different uh, places out on the web that you can uh, search for for free yes. that are available for, for anybody uh, to just log in and, and utilize uh, to, to continue their Bible study with. Yep. So we'll see you in our next video on free web-based resources. God bless you guys. Bye now. <laughs>